got the exclusive right here, mega fans. Two out of ten on IMDb is absolutely insane. For some reason, DreamWorks just dropped Mega Mind 2 and told absolutely no one. A project that could make them millions of dollars at the box office. Oh, it turns out it's because it's pretty much start to end AI generated. Don't believe me? Watch to the end why I make ChatGPT 4 ride Mega Mind 2 as a comparison. Mega Mind was one of the best animated movies DreamWorks released in the early 2010s that contributed to arguably dethroning Disney and Pixar for a while. It has a 10 out of 10 plot with a shocking twist, 10 out of 10 characters with multiple arcs and relationships, deep themes such as exclusion, loneliness, depression, purpose, and romance, embellished with comedy that absolutely slapped. And of course, Presentation! Yeah, well, somewhere along the line between 2010 and 2024, Presentation picked itself up from the project and completely jumped off a bridge. Somehow the animation in 2024 is worse than it was in 2011. If someone started a GoFundMe to make their own Megamind 2, it would have a higher budget than this. But we're not that shallow, we don't need all of that superficial stuff. It's what's on the inside that matters. And what's on the inside is a hot pile of AI dog shit. The character's just gone thrown into the AI blender. Megamind is completely different and not at all intelligent. Roxanne and Megamind no longer have any romance. Minion is now named Chum. What the actual AI f- The new characters are terrible and exist for the sake of existing. I know the target audience is obviously towards younger children this time around, but even toddlers wouldn't like these characters. Just look at some of these ridiculous AI generated NPC names. Machia Villain, <laughs> Lady Doppler, Behemoth, Peer Pressure, Lord Nighty Knight. Oh my. <sighs> if you're still not convinced a bot wrote this movie, Let's have a look at this plot. Basically a real human just could not have written this. And I don't mean this in a good way. The story is supposedly set two days after Megamind 1. But almost immediately Megamind has another falling out with Minion, I mean Chum, supposedly right after they made up like two days ago from the first movie. It's like the bot didn't even have access to the first movie's transcripts. And the big evil plan from the Doom Syndicate was to launch the city to the moon. No joke, that is word for word taking from the movie. An energy force field would entrap air and protect the populace from G-forces as rockets built beneath the city would carry it up to and safely land on the moon. The final epic fight was also won with a musical shopping sequence and a bunch of tennis balls. This has to be the dumbest, craziest script I have ever read. And you know it's AI generated and not just lazy writing because it has random out of pocket details that reoccur multiple times that was clearly premeditated. Like there is no way a human is lazy enough to ignore basically all character development, plot devices and basic storytelling but has enough effort to continuously sneak in these stupid minion meatsicle details over and over in the movie. Or this random side character's teddy bear obsession. The final straw is the dialogue in this movie. I knew it was only a matter of time before the Go Fish gang tried to steal the diamond encrusted toy on loan from the Beijing Water Palace. To put it simply, whatever crappy AI that got to write this movie cannot do dialogue whatsoever. I don't even know how the voice actors put up with all of the clearly AI generated lines. It's genuinely insanity. Time to kick some Doom Syndicate booty! Spoken like a true defender of Metro City. This city doesn't need a defender, it needs defenders. But first, we're gonna wanna make a supply run. There's literally a whole 10 minute sequence of just fish puns at the very beginning of the movie. Great villains, but as heroes, you guys are all wet! It's so obvious as well that they've asked the chatbot to spice things up and make it sound more human and put in some jokes. Random jokes and puns that were beyond force just popped up incrementally to the point where I don't even think toddlers have the ability to understand this many puns. Crime, it's a hard halibut to break. Crime, it's a hard halibut to break. Because I, Machiavillian. There is no way a little baby sucking on his toes would understand Machiavillian 
comes from the word Machiavellian. To them, it's just a bunch of gibberish. Megamind to Rise of the Mind. Act 1, New Threats. Megamind and Metro Man keep peace in the city until a new villain, Technox, incapacitates Metro Man with advanced technology. Megamind faces a crisis as Technox's ideals challenge his own reformed beliefs. Act 2, The Test of Ideals. Struggling with his identity, Megamind discovers a device to enhance intellect and decides to use it on himself despite risks to defeat Technox. Roxanne and Minya support him, reminding him of his heroic transformation. Act 3 Mind over Might Enhanced Megamind outsmarts Technox in a reality bending battle, offering him redemption. The city celebrates his heroes, and Megamind opens the Science Academy with Technox as a teacher, symbolizing hope and the power of change. Why is this decent? It just shows the proof the producers couldn't even be bothered to pay for ChatGPT4. The main problem is that this movie was made for toddlers, whereas Megamind's entire fanbase is exclusively not toddlers. There are only two trains of thought possible for the producers of this movie. Since the movie is for two-year-olds, they will notice if we use AI to write the entire movie. Or they read the AI script and thought, it must be so genius that we simply can't understand its ingenuity, like abstract art. I honestly don't know which one is worse. All I know is that I would rather watch Coco Melon on 10 hour loop than watch Megamind vs the Doom Syndicate again. I cannot believe I waited 14 years for this AI generated piece of shit. Can you believe that DreamWorks is not even the only studio attaining our favourite films? Here's why Disney and Pixar's Inside Out 2 will ruin your childhood as well.